Hello, my name is Paul Bowen, Principal Technologist for Arbor, the security division within NetScout. Today I'm going to take you through a demonstration of Arbor Spectrum, our network analysis and investigations platform. As part of our investigation today, we're going to look at NIMAM, and we're going to use the Spectrum's indicator page to show us the initial indicator, making it an indicator-based investigation. We're going to move to our hunting module so we can deep dive on the packet and flow data that Spectrum collects and compares to many different intelligence feeds. We're going to use the host dossier to visualize all the traffic, not just the hunting part of the traffic, which are the threats. And we're going to look at the connections to see everywhere a particular host spoke to and every one. And all along, we're going to be building an investigation that our tier one analyst will have done to hand over to the tier three analysts so they can make a decision on remediation. So beginning with Spectrum's group feature, we're going to select our core infrastructure servers and we're going to select the NIMAM, which is at the top of the threats. And we'll get to see that NIMAM is ransomware. And one of the key things about Spectrum is enabling tier one analysts to quickly function as a higher level analyst. So they don't have to go to Google and find out what NIMAM is, we tell them. What NIMAM is going to do, we tell them and also a little bit more information so that they're informed as part of their investigation. We tell them that the feed or the intelligence feed was Atlas, that it's malware, and that it's medium severity and low confidence. Atlas is that feed that we have where we see 140 terabits of internet traffic every second of every day on average. And if we don't see more malware from the destination address, we automatically, every four hours, start to lower our confidence so you're not out there chasing ghosts of indicators of compromise or false positives. We see that we have the indicator as a client and the server, and we have a fingerprint. And this is where we begin our investigation. By clicking on the fingerprint, we can add a clue to an investigation. And I'm going to say the new name is pablo nimam because Pablo is my nickname. And I'm going to add this clue to that investigation. What that means is the NIMAM seen here, the feed, and all the relevant traffic is already put into our investigation. And we've started a new investigation into the system without having to go to a separate page to do it. Next, I'm going to say that I want to view the hunting in a new tab. And I want to view the host dossier information in a new tab. At this point, when we get to the host dossier, we'll have switched from an indicator base to an indicator less hunt for information inside our system. But let's go to the hunting page. Here on the hunting page, you can see one indicator by one source and only a million and a half packets. Spectrum is all about speed also, as well as ease of use. So by clicking the fit to window button, I automatically go from 1.5 million to 3.310 billion packets. If I open up the filter, I get to see that the information in the pop-up from the indicator page is automatically put here, what I call guided hunting. And I can say I don't need the source port or the destination port, but I would like maybe to add something else. And I don't need to know regex or SQL. I can just type what I'm interested in, and it'll show me all the instances of Zeus also. But we're investigating Nightman, so let's stick with it. When I hover over the reference part of the page, I get the exact same information that was in the pop-up, keeping our analyst on point. And if I didn't know what country this was, which I don't, I can say, show me the country code, or even show me the ISP if I want, but we're going to put this back to IP address. It's NIMAM, and I'm going to scroll down a little to where we can actually see this in a graph. And no one can look at eight months worth of data, so I'm just going to grab this bar drag it across the screen and now I'm only looking at five days worth of data. Now I can look at this data in many different ways either by the summary, the source, the destination, the indicator or I can do a deep dive analysis as is what the hunting module is for. Now when I click on this down arrow it's going to go out and get me the last 10 conversations as well as the PCAP. Whenever we have an indicator of compromise in Spectrum we generate a PCAP which I can download right here and open in Wireshark. But instead, I'm going to go down to the fourth part of the conversation here to get past all the SYNAC fin data and show you that I have the actual get and the expert information right here, eliminating the need about 90% of the time to open up Wireshark or another tool. Spectrum likes to do things fast. We also like to do things all in one place. So now that we've seen a definite get of some data, we can assume that 
this target is actually giving us malware. So we're going to go a little farther and then switch our investigation over to the host dossier. And in the host dossier, I can say, you know what? I just want to add this to my investigation. And I do want to add it to Pablo. And we'll call this the host dossier. So we know why it's there. And you can see that we're only looking at a day. So I'm going to expand this out to a month. And now we can see that not only are we talking to the Ukraine from this system, but we're also talking to Great Britain. Well, that's interesting to me. Ukraine, when I click on indicators, is where I got my malware. But why is Great Britain here? Why am I talking to Great Britain? And one of the nice things about Spectrum is I can easily ferret that out. So I'll go down to the bottom of the page where I see that traffic. And then I'll say View Connections in a new tab. And I'll be able to do a connection search to find out what I said to Great Britain. But I don't want to know if I'm the only one talking to Great Britain. I want to see everybody who's talking to Great Britain, that particular IP address, in the last month. And I'm going to run that search. And you can see that the search is going to go out and search for a month's worth of data. And it's already complete. So I'm now going to view this. And it's going to show me all the different IP addresses that are talking to that server in Great Britain. And if we look at each and every one of them, you'll see the check-in here. You'll see the check-in here. You'll see the check-in here. So this server that everybody else is talking to is just a beaconing server that led them to download the malware in the first place. So now we have definitely things we want to add to our investigation. And we'll select Pablo Nymam again. And that gives us a lot of data now. And you'll notice that when we're in the host dossier, we did look at the indicator initially, but we investigated not on the indicator, but the other server, which has no colored bar before it, so no indicator of compromise associated with it. But we see when we click on it in the connections page that it was a check-in. So there's a lot of good information in here, and it's all in our investigation now, which I'll just open that one up in a new tab. And when we go to the investigation page, we can see Pablo Nymam. And so we see seven hosts, five clients, two servers. We can dig into any of these, and we can still download the PCAP. So at this point, like a beat cop investigating all the people who might have witnessed a crime, Spectrum has gathered all the data, and the Tier 1 analyst has put it all into one place, and they've turned it over to the detective or the Tier 3 analyst so they can make a judgment as to who to arrest, or in this case, do we want to take that hard drive and duplicate it? Do we want to recommend something to the firewall people to block the destination addresses involved in these two IPs? Or what remediation we're going to take overall? I'd like to thank you for your time. Please contact us, me, P. Bowen, at arbor.net or other people hosting this webcast so that you can get a much more detailed and longer demonstration of the Spectrum platform.